Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. I hope that all is well with you. Let's see what important messages the cards want to reveal at this time. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Libra. If the messages do not resonate, kindly also check your other signs for important insights. Thank you so much and let's begin. What does Libra need to know and need to be aware of? Spirit, we ask for insights and guidance. What does Libra need to know and need to be aware of at this time? All right, starting this reading, we have the Mother of One's Energy. This is followed by the Fool card. Some of you are connecting with a Aries Leo Sagittarius. The Fool card is about a new beginning, taking that leap of faith into something new. But look at the body language of the mother of wands. For some of you, you're being guided to be more cautious, whatever this is, or whoever it is that you're currently dealing with. Do not make any impulsive decision or judgment regarding the situation. There could be a need for you to gather some kind of information, Libra. Somebody could also be very reckless here with the full card. But at the same time with mother of wands, it's like they're not opening up something to you. Somebody is afraid, afraid to face something, okay? Let me pull more cards out. We have the Star card, Aquarius, and the Sun of Swords. This is your energy over here, Libra. So there is something that your person is hiding from you or people that you're currently dealing with. The Star and the Sun of Swords are saying that you... May have been wanting clarity and truth. You want something to be revealed and brought towards the light. Let's see. We have the temperance card, Sagittarius energy. Somebody's sort of giving you mixed signals or mixed information. They're not being very clear about something here. The star is also an energy of alignment. It's like wanting to sort something out, wanting to fix an issue. Wanting to reestablish order, but how can you make peace with something where things are not being revealed with Mother of Wands? The Temperance is a peacemaker card, being very diplomatic. Some of you are trying to have a conversation with this person and trying to ask them for the truth, whatever you feel like they're keeping from you. Let's see. But also with Son of Swords, you are somebody very discerning. So it's like you already know that somebody's keeping some information. They're hiding something. We have the Five of Pentacles energy. The Three of Cups. Some of you are dealing with more than just one person. And with Son of Swords, it's already starting to become somewhat frustrating or it's been testing your patience. Somebody cannot be totally upfront, okay? And then we have the Ten of Wands. So how can you start sorting something out when somebody does not want to be transparent is what I'm picking up. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles energy. Yeah, somebody is trying to keep something close to their chest here. I'm also getting that you are trying to be in charge and control. You're not letting this get the best of you. Um, it's like you already know the truth that they're not being honest with you. But it's like wanting to know to what extent. And I feel like with Temperance card, this is the energy of taking a step back. You could be telling this person, if you don't want to cooperate, if you don't want to take action, I'm just going to try to taste, take a step back. Now, the Five of Pentacles may also be seen as somebody who's struggling with... Um, something financially, or something about their health. So some of you want to sort something out, but if they don't want to help themselves, then you can't help them. The Three of Cups is having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You may have tried this approach with this individual. You wanted them to be more open. You wanted them to feel as though you are a friend and you can listen, uh, but still they have this kind of thick layer of protection. Somebody's not opening up. This can also be seen as the emotional miser where somebody's not putting effort. Or it could also be that somebody does not want to face the consequences of their actions. See, the Son of Swords is very logical right now. 
you're coming across as um, you're running out of patience dealing with this person. You don't want to go around in circle with Mother of Wands. Somebody's story is not, is not making sense or they're going around in circle. They're not giving you clarity. They're hot and cold with Temperance card. So with this energy, it's like if you're not going to tell me the truth, I'm going to take a step back. This can also be seen as giving the cold shoulder or leaving them out in the cold. The full card is stepping into a new beginning. So for a lot of you, it's like your focus right now is towards healing. You could be saying, I don't want to fix the situation anymore. If you don't want to cooperate and put the work in, be on the same page. Some of you, again, you're dealing with a group of people. A lot, of, a lot of misinformation, a lot of gossip as well. Or some of you feel like something is being kept in the dark from you. There are those that are covering up something here. People are trying to support one another and trying to cover up the truth. But with this dark card, it's like you are being guided through your intuition and your gut feeling about this. Like you feel something is not adding up. Their stories are not aligning. Somebody is telling different stories here. I may not know your situation, but you're being smart about this, Libra, by not just accepting what people offer, what people are telling you. You're not fully convinced. The Temperance card is also a peacemaker, like I already mentioned. It almost feels like somebody does not want to stir conflict, or they could also be trying to cover up something just to avoid the conflict, just to avoid the confrontation. They're trying to pacify something or avoid something from being exposed, being revealed. But you're standing strong in your conviction with the Son of Swords. At a certain point, you may want to know if when enough is enough. You know, if you feel like you've done your part, you reached out and you clearly stated that you want to sort things out. However, somebody still can't be honest. Then know when enough is enough because this may also affect your health. Some of you, you realize that you don't need the stress in your life weighing you down any further. The Ten of Wands can be seen as taking more load than you should. So Libra, this is you not realizing this is no longer your job or you're not obligated to help them out if they don't want to help you or help themselves too. Or if they don't want to face, take accountability. Um, the Fool card can be seen again as the energy of reckless behavior. Somebody may have done something reckless. They were not thinking of the consequences or how this is going to pan out, how others are going to be affected by their actions. Let's see. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. We have the Four of Wands. So there's a lot of emphasis on having inner peace, Libra. Um, some of you have been struggling because this has been a very heavy energy, heavy on your shoulder with Ten of Wands. But the cards are also saying the more that you shift your focus back on self and protect your energy, the more that you, you're going to regain some sense of balance and inner stability once again. You could be dealing with a mother or mother figure or women as well. There's a lot of queens in this reading. And we have Ace of Pentacles. This could be in regards of money as well, Libra. And the Four of Wands can be seen as domestic situation or home situation. The moon card is deception, mystery, things that are being kept as a secret. Somebody's really trying to cover up something here. And with nine of wands, you struggled a lot. You know, you've been trying to let them open up. Soon things will be revealed to you, Libra. Or a situation is going to happen that's going to force these people to be honest and come clean. No truth is left untold. No stones are left unturned could just be a matter of time. They cannot control this forever or hide this forever is also what I'm getting. Let's see. Let's pull more cards out here. This is the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. What's going on for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We have expansion card. Again, dealing with a group of people. People that you thought have been on your corner. People that you may have also invested so much. Okay, this could be business or this could be collaborations or projects. And another message, this is somebody that does not want to make things bigger than it should. Because it could be that they're trying to protect themselves or protect their image. The mother of wands can often be seen as somebody that's trying to protect their image. 
um, you could be dealing with somebody famous with the star card or they feel like this is going to ruin their reputation, their image, whatever this is. We have the recovery card. But they're also facing a problem here, a very big one. And it could be a legal situation, Libra. Some of you, I may not know your situation, but you could be wanting to help this person out. You know, you want them to be successful in what they do, but you need to sort out the problem and it won't be sorted out unless they cooperate and come clean with something. We have the joy card. So yes, look at the image of the joy card. Uh, the woman is lifting her hands and it's like the energy of being carefree. That's also the full card energy. Somebody here did not think about the consequences of their action. Something reckless. Um, they may have also done something that they shouldn't. Crossed some boundaries. I don't know why that is. Did something extremely. On a different message, the joy card, This I see the yellow card as the solar plexus chakra, which means our intelligence, our gut. So it's like, feel comfort in knowing that you really know the truth, Libra, at the end of the day. You know that they're not being honest with you. Let's pull some more cards out. What else are we getting here for Libra? There's also healing for you here, Libra. Um, the star card, we have miracle card. And the Despondence card, okay. Despondence card, this could be you feeling as though, why do I need to carry all the load? Why is it my responsibility to always fix your mess or be accountable for what you've done? You're always kind of like somebody that's trying to save someone from what they're doing. Or it can also mean that they're not giving you the right information and you've been feeling very affected by this. It's affected your performance, your work, your focus. And you just really want to get back in a place of alignment. So a lot of you are releasing the attachment from the situation in order to focus back on you. Okay, if they have been trying to pacify you, feed you false information, you know the truth in your heart. I'm also getting that they're the ones now that's struggling here, Libra. You could be saying, I no longer can help you. So I feel like somebody is struggling right now and could be asking for a miracle, asking for help. They're reaching out to you. Let's see. Let me pull some spirit animal oracle here for you, Libra. What is your message for Libra at this time? So we have the wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. So this could be something very, very heavy, what's going on, especially if there are people that are trying to cover up the truth, a lot of mis misinformation. And I feel like they're really trying to save face or somebody's trying to protect their image. The thing is, you need to be the observer of what's going on, Libra. The truth will always reveal itself. You are also divinely protected and guided. No one enough is enough if you've done your part. It could be also a painful revelation. If they don't say the truth, the universe is going to make a way, you know, kind of like a tower moment. But it's also going to happen in order to teach somebody a lesson, you know. May also be pride and ego getting in the way, trying to control things, thinking that they can control the outcome or avoid certain things to happen with the Four of Pentacles. But control is just an illusion at the end of the day, you know. For every action, there is consequence. Let me read to you what this card is saying. The number six and four could also be something significant. Oracle message, not all that spirit creates in nature is easy to love. But when we look through the eyes of wasp spirit, we recognize that even though sometimes life stings, there is a purpose for pain, just as there is a purpose for wasp in the natural world. Wasps keep insect populations down, supporting the growth of plants. So too, the sting of life may hurt and you may feel deeply disappointed or even resentful. But you will soon come to see that spirit has something wonderful in store for you. You may well come to realize that being stung led to something far better than you have envisioned for yourself. Perhaps behind the scene, while spirit was conspiring with spirit to ensure that you could grow something of value to you. Spirit has a plan and while spirit plays a part. 
Have you ever looked back and been glad your prayers weren't answered because the path you took led to something far better? This is a reminder to reflect on those times. For today's thing may hurt, but something better awaits you. Protection message. Are you holding on to anger, jealousy, or resentment because you got stung? Or could you have just stung yourself by comparing yourself to others? There will always be someone else who is more successful, happier, thinner, richer, etc. etc. Jealousy is the false belief that you can't have what you want or someone could take away something that was supposed to be yours. Let it go and release all those feelings that are making this thing hurt long after the stinger has been removed. Wa spirit has woken you up and now you are called to trust that disappointment can lead you to a different and better path. Align with spirit now and trust that this too shall pass and is already doing so. For the pain subsides when you stop telling the story of how much it hurts. You're moving forward here, Libra. You are on the path towards recovery. You know, this also has taught you a very important lesson that not everybody can be trusted, but you can trust in your intuition. And there is also a reason for the pain. I see you going towards a safer place now with the joy and the star card. That is what I'm seeing from your reading. I hope that this gave you some insight and guidance. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I'm sending love and light. Take care at this time and namaste.